What are we standing in front of? Right behind you, there's a wreath that was just set up at this ceremony. What, what's behind us and what's going on here today? So this is the city of Beverly Hills 9-11 Memorial Garden that was erected many years ago to honor those who were lost on 9-11. Uh -huh. And every year since the tragedy, our fire department, police department, and community members have come together here in Beverly Hills to remember the fallen, uh, the first responders who lost their lives, and of course, the other victims on that day on 9-11. So it's really an opportunity for the community to come together um, in a special way to remember those who died. Um, and as we always say, never forget the tragedy of September 11, 2001. What about the cause? Was there any addressing or any uh, reference to what's at war with us? No, I mean, again, this was just about honoring the victims and those that were lost and, and honoring their memory. That's the focus of today. How, how is the city prepared for terror in on this coast, for instance? I think, you know, we, we've talked about the steps that the city takes in general regarding emergency management. So whether it be terrorist attacks, whether it be natural disasters, you know, we always encourage our residents to be prepared, to be vigilant, say something, see something, say something, uh, always be aware of their surroundings. So I think, you know, we're still in that reality of, of remembering and realizing that times have changed. 2001 changed the way we think, the way we behave, the way we prepare. And so we're always encouraging our residents, even this many years later, to think about those things. Think about their surroundings, their safety. What if this happened? How would you be prepared? Would you be prepared, uh, for instance, in a natural disaster to feed your family and make sure you have water and supplies? Uh, things that we don't really like to think about, but we need to think about. Um, so that's a lot of the message that we talk about here as well. Oh, and what about what was in the ceremony? So there's uh, a musical song by one of our firefighters. He uh, sung a song, uh, "You Raise Me Up," and then the uh, was there a speech and address? Fire chief and the police chief addressed the crowd, uh, just with their thoughts about the day, uh, and kind of recounting the numbers to remind people just how many lives were lost that day. And then they talked about, again, I think the steps that they take as a department to keep the memory alive of those who, who are fallen. And then also that message about staying safe, reminding families in our community to always be mindful of their safety and their surroundings. So I think th those were the messages from our public safety leaders. What's in the, in the park right behind you? So this is um, part of the one of the towers, uh, steel structure is here. The World Trade Towers? Yes, that's right. And... Um, and also a wreath here that they laid um, to remember those that are fallen. So this is something I, I need to check the year when it was uh -huh. uh, opened. Uh, but this is a, uh, not a not um, something that every city has with an actual you know piece of of the debris uh, okay, here towers. as a marker. Uh -huh. So uh, people that visit the city will often come here and stop and see the the memorial and and are touched by it and. Uh, so we're, we, we're, we're glad that we're able to have that here as a special tribute. And it's here year-round? Yes, year-round. 